people we got some problems in the United States as we all know we have issues with the spiritual notion of our food how we don't really say thanks to us a we collectively as a uh, vast majority of people do not thank their water their food or any of the things that we take in which ultimately uh, makes us what does it make us it makes us not thankful <laughs> It makes us take our food for granted. And it makes us not really check out labels. It makes us not really think about why anybody would want to poison us with our food. It makes us think, nobody would do that. They're not these evil forces in the world. Of course they're not. Uh, we don't want people you know, to go hungry in this country. You know, we spend $3 billion a year in food stamps, but now we... Uh, or, or more than that, we're about to take away three billion. My my bad. Starting this past March, and we spend you know billions of dollars in in uh, so-called helping people, but they have to buy the cheap credit food, the stuff that's bad for you, high in sugar. It is difficult for most people and their families to lose weight because the only thing they can afford is junk. So at the same time, we subsidize you know big companies that promote and push junk. So we poison on our people so we can have uh, a medical industry that thrives and continues to give us other chemicals. Oh, take this pill, take that pill, while you continue to poison your body, this vicious cycle of uh, sucking the life out of all of us and degrading our souls. Like, how, how do we even know ourselves if we don't know what's going into our bodies, if we can't communicate clearly, if everybody is so offended, oh, what do you mean somebody wants to poison us? Just read the label. It is uh, over the top. And that is one thing about this place, uh, a little plug for the mystics of Texas, is that we want you to be healthy. We want the people around us to be healthy. We think that in order for us to be healthy, we need to thank that cow. We need to love that sheep. We need to love those chicken eggs. And because we're showing respect to Mother Nature, we're showing respect to us who are intimately involved and a part of and as much of nature as anything living. And we detach ourselves from that. And we need to get back in line with Mother Nature and in tune with ourselves and in tune with the source of all things. Whether you want to call that God or the universal energy, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. I don't think God's going to be mad if we called it infinite intelligence or the source or God or Yahweh or whatever. Uh, hopefully God's not that petty and I don't think he, he is. Uh, or she. Or whatever. <laughs> Who knows? Yesy, it's been a while since you've been here. What have you been doing? Hey, trying to maintain. <laughs> this is an important topic for people. And like you said before we sat down, it, it, it's a never-ending cycle of them sucking the, uh, the life out of us by giving us crap. So we have to stay in this dilemma of always having to... Oh, God, now i got this health problem. Why do I have this health problem? I've been looking after my diet. Oh, all the salads I've been eating. Oh, they're full of poison. Oh, <laughs> well, golly. I wonder why I have cancer now, even though I've been eating healthy. Oh, I wonder why I have diabetes. I wonder if it's all these Cokes and all this other crap that I'm putting into my body. I wonder why I have health problems. Well, for one, we're not very disciplined in this country. Uh, we now think uh, being unhealthy is beautiful. I think being unhealthy is sickening, and we need to help people not be unhealthy. We need to come together, or we're going to all lose our, our entire soul individually and as a whole. Because if we don't understand that, hey, we can send billions and billions and billions, hundreds of billions to countries around the world. But we can't take care of, we can't take care of our soldiers, we can't take care of ourselves, we can't promote healthy organic food to make it cheaper for the masses to buy. If we can't do that, and if we can't be aware of those things and, and address that with our politicians openly and honestly, 
And how do we communicate with ourselves, thus do anybody else, and ultimately communicate with God if we just can't even talk about those simple things and get censored for doing it? It's a problem because everybody else needs to be thinking about something else. Oh, we need to be distracted by a submarine. Oh, we need to be distracted by these uh, goofy-ass TikTok videos. We need to be by these silly YouTube shorts, by all this silly nonsense distractions when the one thing, this one thing we have is being bombarded by every angle, every angle. Evil, petty government officials like we have in Harrison County. We have, and all over the country, that bringing people together, fellowshipping, communing, respecting and loving and learning how to nurture this one vital thing that we have as our bodies in this earth and to intimately, spiritually get involved with our food because that food is just not some hamburger you picked up at McDonald's. Like that's about to be a part of your body, who you are temporarily until your body sucks out the poison, gets whatever nutrition it can find, and then waste away. Like, that nasty hamburger full of all that crap is about to be a part of you. And if that's a part of you, and you don't have respect for you, well, I guess none of this conversation matters. Go watch some TikTok. I think we're more, I think we are more important than, than what we are led to believe by the broader society. That if we don't get in tune with nature, if we continue to lose ourselves, if we don't get in tune with each other so we can commune and meditate and pray and receive the higher energies of the universe, boy, we are in a sad state. And I don't think we need to go there. I think places like this where we can get together, commune, and worship uh, in ways that we like, even though religious freedoms in this country are quickly diminishing when you have uh, tyrants running around everywhere wanting to squash everybody's freedom, uh, you get into an issue of where do you go in the world, and that becomes really problematic uh, because they're quickly all becoming that way. So take away this. We must know our food. We must pressure our politicians to not promote junk food for the masses, not promote subsidizing sugar, and, all, and corn and all these other things that our body is not meant to take and those quantities, if at all. Let's get healthy. Let's get healthy with our bodies. Let's get healthy with our spirit. Let's get healthy with our emotions. Let's get healthy financially. Let's get healthy together in a community, whether that is coming uh, here to this religious organization or whether it's going to your own particular church or whether it's going into your own uh, groups. We got to have friends that help each other out and do for each other, like lift each other up, put each other on the right path. Hey, buddy, you're kind of doing the wrong thing over here. Uh, it's good when a friend kicks you in the butt and says, "Hey, let, let, let's 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 stop that." Oh, hey, did you ever think about it this way? Did you ever consider this? And have real conversations about meaningful things instead of things that just don't matter. So with that, we're here every Sunday at 1.30. Mysticsoftexas.com, mysticsoftexas.com. Pray, meditate, feel, love your food. It's important. See you next time.